Hey nurses, nurses here and welcome back to my channel. We've already covered a lot of tutorials using B-Brown dialog machine such as the basics setting up and priming, connecting rods and coupling, and how to termination. So for today's video, we are down to our last topic of B-Brown dialog machine about how to initiation treatment. We've also completed the hemoperfusion last week. I've put all the videos in one blog post and I'm gonna link it in the description below. For the next month, I'll be completing the Fresenius machine series, so please keep posted for my upcoming videos. Uploads are done weekly, any day in the weekend. If you have some video suggestions, please leave a comment below. Let's go. There are a lot of styles and techniques when it comes to machine initiation and what I am going to show you is just one of the many to mention. I am only here to at least help you familiarize the procedure because of course, you still need to follow the facilities protocol. Today's setup, patient's access is IJ and machine is already in acknowledge data mode. And fortunately, machine is already ready to hook, so I'm just going to discuss the steps taken before it. Now let's hook this. As soon as the machine shows acknowledged data, lower the blood flow rate to 100 ml per minute. Stop the blood pump. Close the following clamps, venous transducer clamp and the big blue and red clamps. Disconnect the arterial and venous patient's ends. Place the arterial line in an accessible area while the venous line clipped on a draining bin. Here is the setup. Connect the arterial line to arterial port of the catheter. Open big red clamp and the arterial port clamp. Click connect patient icon. You'll hear two short acoustic signal sound and the enter button is illuminated. A window appears. Check the patient data and confirm the data input by clicking the illuminated enter button. Deactivate the bypass. Start blood pump. You can also slowly increase the blood flow rate. Make sure to close the infusion saline clamp. Patient is heparin free, so arterial bolus is set here. 15 ml per 15 minutes. Once the bloodline is filled with blood up to the venous red sensor, the patient-connected alarm is triggered and the blood pump automatically stops. Mute the alarm. Connect the venous line to venous port. Open the big blue clamp and venous port catheter clamp. Then start the blood pump. Open the venous transducer clamp. At this stage, venous red sensor will sense no blood and will alarm due to presence of saline. Acknowledge the alarm until it stops. If not, try to slowly increase the blood flow rate. As a note, pressing it once will only mute the sound. Pressing it twice will continue treatment. There are alarms that will automatically stop the blood pump, so be careful always. Make sure to press it twice to activate the blood pump again. Now we are giving an arterial bolus. Click the parameter icon. Then arterial bolus icon. Then click the bolus icon. A window appears. Confirm. Then open infusion saline clamp. Once done, a window appears stating end of arterial bolus. Close the infusion saline clamp. Click confirm button. Click timer or stopwatch then select cycle and sound to alarm according to the set interval time. So it's every 15 minutes. 
Selecting the To Do icon gives you the option to type any message to appear every time it alarms. That's it! Hope you learned something from this video. If yes, please don't forget to click like, leave a comment for video suggestion, and of course, please subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned as I take you with me in discovering nursing career. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.